How you doing, YouTube? Mm-hmm. Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. Yep. With Brad from Meat Smokes. Meat Smokes. Meat Smokes. Meat Smoke is back. He came over. We're drinking some beers. Interesting story. We're Let's getting, get. We're getting primed for the uh, the U.S. match. Yes, yes. We're drinking some beers and we're going to watch soccer and then yell and scream. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little of um, a little fucking, wow, I spaced on it. The North Brewery. Why did I space on a brewery for a second? It's sitting yeah. right in front of me. North Brewery Sunday. It is a maple a coffee stout, uh, October 2016. This was bottled 8% alcohol by volume. Don't age, drink fresh. It says in here, so it's telling me how to live my life, and that's kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> I'll listen to them. So uh, I actually went up to the North Brewery uh, last week and with my buddy Chris, kind of popped in the North, talked to Zach there. Super cool dude. He threw a couple bottles my way, so I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, figured give this a whirl, see what she's got. Uh, first things first, uh, label. I love it. I love the art design and pretty much all their stuff they do. Um, and I love this ghetto red cap. Like something about the red ghetto cap just kind of does it for me. Yeah, the, I, like there's no markings on it. It's just straight red. Yeah, and it's kind of beat up and scratched and shit. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I've read pretty much everything on the label. There's nothing else besides what I already said. Endicott, uh, New York. Endicott, New York. And that's be that. Um, so yeah, let's crack in this motherfucker. Let's see what she's got. And uh, yeah, let's see what this maple coffee stout has to offer. I think we're we're a little bit uh. We're primed for this. We just did a sour smoked porter. So this is probably going to be what our brains were expecting a little bit more from that, drinking that beer and reviewing that beer. So, yeah. Keep, keeping it dark. Keeping it dark. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. So, maple, coffee, stout. That's what I like to hear. Uh, yeah, what I'm, we're going to tell you about it. What? It's dark as fuck, so what do I need that light up there for? And uh, it has a little bit of a head. Just off white head. Uh, actually, not even just off weight, more like malted malt ball colored head. Um, receded pretty quickly. I can actually smell the roasted malt and the coffee from here. Uh, as far as the nose, yeah, a little sweetness on the end. That maple syrup. Tons of maple syrup in there. Holy yeah. shit balls. Huge maple syrup. Nice roast, though. Nice roast. Nice roast from the coffee. It's not. A, I don't think it's going to be a cold press coffee. I think it's old school kind of coffee. Any kind of bitterness is going to be combated by that maple syrup, probably. Yeah, because, I mean, usually they'll say, most places will say that it's a cold press because that's a new hot thing. Yeah. You want to you wanna well, tell them what, what you're doing. Yeah, but Zach's kind of like my kind of asshole in the way that he's like, this is fucking beer with coffee in it and maple syrup fucking drinking, motherfucker. So he's not going to, even if it's cold press, he might not fucking say it. to go up and meet um, this man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems like he's right up my alley, too. He is. He's fucking... But um, I'm getting like a little bit of almost like a little bit of a touch. Um, maybe it's residuals from the beer we just had. A slight kind of sour cream, sour milkiness from it. I'm getting a little like almost lactose type of. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. But it's like, nose, to me, it's like, like if you smell a creamer, like a half and half that's yeah. almost about to turn kind of vibe. Um, I don't know. I haven't, I've been off of creamers for a long time. <laughs> Sorry. Black coffee. It's just whatever. Fuck it. The review's over. <laughs> anyway. Can, can we uh, rewind? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I love creamers. <laughs> there you go. There you go. See, edits. We'll jump cut it right there. No, but yeah. Huge maple syrup. Nice yeah. coffee. Nice roast. Nice roast and malt. It smells very sweet, but at the same time, I think there's going to be a bittering from the roast that balances that out, so. Yep. Let's dive in. Let's dive in and let's fuck her, see what she's got. Cheers. Cheers. That's good. Someone dropped a pancake into my coffee stout. Yeah, yeah. I want some. I want some stout with my pancakes. Um, definitely the kind of maple syrup breakfast diner kind of vibe going on in there. A little bit thinner than what I'd expect it to be. I thought it was going to be a bit thicker. It's it's not super thin, but it's not dense by any means. No, like I mean, I think you're you're bordering on porter. You know, like milk stout type of. You know, I thought it would be yeah, more of a robust stout yeah. to hold up to the, the, the flavors of the coffee and the, and the um, maple syrup. But no, like, pretty damn tasty, though. And you yeah. get the killer roast on the end. Yeah, I get this. The, the roast itself is so, almost so bittering, but you don't taste it because of, the, um, because of the sweetness from the maple syrup. That the bitterness, whether it be from the hops or what I think is from the roast, I almost get this like slight, like spicy prickliness on my tongue where it feels like I got like a pepper kind of vibe going on but it's not hot it's just the spiciness kind of like raw pepper yeah I can see that like it definitely you you get I'm getting it like 
towards like the back of my tongue throat but yeah you're getting like almost like a like a roast sensation like it should be bitter but it's, but, not... but, but it's like so balanced out with the uh, maple syrup that you're not getting that bitterness yeah but you're almost getting i get it similar like this mouth feel i get it similar on like really hoppy bitter ipas yeah where like it kind of dries out my palate in the back and you know so that's what i'm kind of getting on this yeah the um I mean, the only thing, like I said, for me, I wish in a perfect world is to be a little bit denser. We actually talked about having this, like, kind of, like, vibes of lactose going on. I There isn't lactose in this beer, as far as I can tell, but I wish there was. Not for the sweetness factor. I think the sweetness is already there from the maple syrup, but that lactose would add, like, a fattiness to the beer and actually beef up the body a little bit. In a perfect world, it would just kind of give that kind of density that I fucking love. But that's just me fucking nitpicking. Because basically what you're, do, what you're getting right here is, uh, yeah, this is this is uh, old school diner. You know, you're, you know mm-hmm. you're at the end of your pancakes, you're chugging more coffees left. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting off this. And I think that's a fucking home run. Yeah, if they don't want to use uh, lactose, I mean, maybe just make it with bacon. Yeah. Just yeah. go all out. Go, go all out bacon. and give us, like... You know, a true breakfast stout. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but it's absolutely delicious. Um, he, uh, Zach, yeah. like I said, up there at the north in Endicott, is making really fun beers. He definitely holds nothing back. He goes crazy with a lot of the beers he makes. So just uh, one of the more interesting breweries in and around this area. So if you're ever going through that area, it's definitely worth kind of swinging by and checking out. What's the, um, what's the other big stout he does? He does a bunch of them. Um he did. Uh, he gave me um, El Chupacabra is one that he gave me while I was up there. I forget the deed is another one that he does. There's because um, I know there was a release in I think it was October. Yeah, there's a, there's I, something I, like that that I missed that I kind of wanted to get up there, but it was like a, a Wednesday. Yeah, that that one was, and I'm, I'm I'm trying to think of it. Let me give me a second. Maybe I can think of it. Uh, but he but he me. definitely has that that um, tired hands feel like we're gonna make good with the community around us like his releases are tuesday wednesdays or something like that yeah like, fridays at noon yeah yeah you know stuff I mean? like that midday, the locals midday stuff there. yeah yeah yeah. but um yeah i forget the name of the uh, uh, the the release that he had but if you actually look back at my videos i think i talk about it when i do an actual interview with him on my facebook you have to go and check that out there but yeah overall absolutely fantastic beer uh let's talk about it. it's one of the better um, coffee stouts that I've had as of late. Actually, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm kind of a maple syrup pour, so it kind of skews just a little bit of person, uh, you know, uh, already kind of what what's preconceived preference, I guess you would say, going into it. But it's really well done. Like I said, if it actually had a little bit more heft in the body, it would be an absolute fucking grand slam for me. But right now, it's definitely a home run. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's solid beer all around. Uh, if you like sweet, you like roast. You like a little bit of body to your beers. I mean, it's only what eight percent. It's nothing killer, you know. It's yeah. nothing, but it doesn't drink like eight. It drinks like uh, I mean, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's you know, higher to me. Like, yeah, I mean, it's got the mouth feel almost of like a Guinness, you know, like a four percenter, you know, type of thing. But then it's got a nice booziness quality that you would get out of a 10, 12 percent. Yeah, and so, and, and, yeah, it doesn't drink like it, there's not a, to me. It's not like a super boozy beer. But it, it drinks hefty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even though the mouth feels not where I want it to be, it definitely drinks with with an oomph to it, with an impact to it that you think that I think makes it taste like a little bit bigger beer. Uh, availability, uh, you have to go to the brewery. I think it's a seasonal rotational release for him. The price, don't know. He gave it to me. Thank you very much. And um, just say this. If you like what? Well, you like this. If you like fucking maple syrup, if you like coffee, if you like interesting beers, if you like supporting small yeah. breweries that are trying to make their hay, um, it's kind of like a little... CBS methadony kind of thing going on right here. Very kind of Canadian breakfast stouty kind of thing going on there. It's a much bigger, more robust beer. But this is very the you know the methadone version yeah. of that, which is not a knock on it. If you want to get on, if you want to get on these guys before they blow up, mm-hmm. you know that's definitely. I mean, if he's putting out other stouts like this, I mean sooner or later people are going to know. Listen, I walked in there. The bar's made of concrete. They were playing Mario Kart in an emulator in the in the corner of the uh, uh, thing, and they were arguing about the validity of Star Wars. And there's like a, a five foot stormtrooper in the corner. Sold. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or didn't, or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, uh, sub- subscribe and all that fucking weird shit. Um, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Me, you can. 
Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers in all four of those spaces. What about you, brother? Uh, Instagram, Meet Smoke 451. Just stalk me off a of mat. There you go. I'm findable. There he is. He is so findable. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice maple-based stout right now, and hope to see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.